Qatar strongly condemns an attack on its embassy in Khartoum. An Al Jazeera investigation uncovers evidence on Israel's killing of journalist Shirin Abu Akle. Asia's songbird is on her way to Qatar. Stay tuned for more. And finally, Al Wakra clinched their first ever Qatar Cup handball title. Hi, it's Ali. This is The Roundup. Here are today's top stories. Qatar's Ministry of Foreign Affairs has strongly condemned the storming and vandalism of its embassy in Sudan. The ministry reaffirmed Doha's position in calling for an immediate halt to the fighting in Khartoum, where hundreds of civilians have been killed and thousands wounded. The embassies of Jordan, Turkey, Kuwait and Saudi Arabia have also been targeted by armed groups in Sudan in recent weeks. Now, audio recordings from the killing of renowned Al Jazeera journalist Shirin Abu Akhle have been uncovered, providing more proof that Israeli forces were behind her death. The Revelations came in Al Jazeera Arabic's latest episode of What is Hidden is Greater, which aired on Friday. The episode revealed the findings of the FBI, who had conducted a field investigation in Jenin, where the journalist was shot and killed. For the entire report, head over to our website. Regina Velasquez Al Sassid fans, this one's for you. The Filipino singer, host, and actress known as Asia Songbird is officially set to perform in Qatar. Regina will be performing on June 30th at Al Gharafa Sports Club, finally appearing at one of the most awaited concerts in Qatar. More than 5,000 Filipinos are expected to attend the concert, with tickets now out on sale. And finally, Saturday night brought all the cheers to Al-Wakra Sports Club who won their maiden Qatar Cup handball trophy. Al-Wakra beat Al-Gharafa 26-21 in a robust win at al Dahail Sports Hall, rising triumphantly from their previous losses in the finals of the Cup in 2020 and 2022. Al-Gharafa, however, have now lost their last three Cup finals, with this loss adding to the ones in 2017 and 2019. Thank you for joining us. For more of our stories, head over to our website www.dohanews.co. Have a great day.